Who's ready for some pimple popping? <laughs> I warn you, this DIY technique is a doozy as well as an oozy. This young man takes out his blackheads oh. in one big squeeze. Whoa. That's a lot. How did? Ooh, wait. I how, many, oh, how many hits did that Jacob, get? Jacob, Jacob. Okay, so real quick, Drew. This is a certified viral sensation. I think we know why now. I, I, I okay. Uh, uh. How long did it take him to grow that? Well, you know, he, you can see that he has very thick skin over the tip of his nose. What does that mean? He has a lot of sebaceous glands, sebaceous units in the tip of the nose. So he's collecting all of this sebum at a prolific rate. So what he does, he puts all that pressure by pushing up on the septum and boom, he's clearing those sebaceous gland, those pores of whiteheads, mm -hmm. which are mm -hmm. natural sebum, and blackheads. What's a blackhead? Well, a blackhead is a whitehead that, is, that has gotten dirt grease and has been oxidized by uh, contact with the air. So whiteheads, blackheads come from the same place. They're first cousins. This is not a good idea. We talk about facials. He's just shaking his head. Pushing like that on the end of your septum is, you can. He's also, mm. you know, he, he could be two, three days later have swelling and, you, and ecchymosis. I mean, I mean he oh, could, that, that amount of pressure to do that has And to that be much tremendous. pressure could fester something so you yeah. form one of those really underground, almost like a boil or an abscess. And you're irritating the skin, right? Irritating. What I want to ask right. Jacob is, yeah. How's the dating life after posting that? We featured some pretty outrageous DIY videos with people performing medical procedures on themselves in the comfort of their own home. Well, what you're about to see can only be described as a DIY don't. Yeah. Mm. So a Texas man discovered a growing cyst on his face. He went to the nearest medical facility. He was denied help, unfortunately, due to lack of insurance. Four months went by with him in severe pain, so his niece decided to help him out, and this is what she did and got. Ooh. Whoa. And Dr. Matra, so juicy. Well, well, I think he might have some temporary relief from this, but the big problem with this is that, number one, she has no anesthesia, so this is oh, really on. hurting. And just by extracting the contents of a cyst, you're not taking the capsule out, so it's very likely to recur. Plus, we don't know how sterile or clean so an environment that all. is, so yeah. that could even be a great way to introduce bacteria to the spot. Probably inclusion cyst, right? Yeah, or no, no, definitely cyst. looks like an epidermal inclusion yeah. cyst. Right. Um, but I think I think it's a sad statement about the fact that he went four months earlier, yes. didn't get any care, and so I think one thing, you know, obviously trying to catch this earlier, it could have probably been clamped down with even just a cortisone shot before it necessarily grew that big. And sometimes if you don't have insurance or resources, right. at least a less expensive way that might require some paperwork, might make you see a doctor in training who's still very well supervised by a full-fledged physician would be go to a university or a county hospital because they often have reduced fee clinics or clinics where you might have to do some paperwork and ultimately it would be much less expensive. Yeah. It's time to introduce you to a new viral medical video that's sure to become a favorite. After all, we are the show that first brought you the now infamous Dr. Pimple Popper and her gross zit explosions. We all know those and love those. But without further ado, meet the new social media superstar, The Tweezist. Hailing from South Korea, this popular user's Instagram account is mesmerizing people around the world by showing nothing but ingrown hairs, mostly from her own legs, being removed via tweezers. N now, I... <laughs> I don't know. This, this one, people really like so to see it. Yes. She has 115,000 followers already and on this is Instagram. And this all she does. And this is all she does. This she is does all she this does. three to four times a week, she, mostly on her own legs. She calls it her dirty hair jungle. Yeah. And this is this is actually, just so everybody knows, this is a USB microscope that's actually hooked up to her computer. So that's kind of what makes it a little more mesmerizing and calming than some of those cystic There's a curly explosions. Mm. Yeah, but, but the interesting thing about 
about this is ingrown hairs are often when the hair kind of starts to grow out of the skin, but then it curls in on itself. That's much more common in curly hair and coarse hair. Oh, that one's satisfying. Yeah, that one, that one is oh, kind yeah. satisfying. African-American and males who shave, uh -huh. they get it. Much yeah. more common in the beard yeah. area in African-American men. And then also in women, we often get these under the arms, sometimes the pubic area, certainly on the legs. And dermatologists oh. will tell you, Please don't ever do this at home. So it's kind of really satisfying to watch the video, but if my patient said they were doing this, I would tell them absolutely not, because you're actually creating doorways for bacteria. Whoa, oh, that's a big one. The, now that doesn't look right. Let me ask you, right. why, you be doing that why would this individual have so many that three to four times a week this is occurring in her legs. So the thought is that some people, especially if they have coarse or curly hair, their hair tends to curl on itself. We also think about the way you're removing the hair because what's happening is that outer dead layer of your skin, which is called your stratum corneum, tends to grow over. And then it, the hair curls in, it gets trapped inside. So she might be using a razor and shaving against the direction of hair growth. She isn't stretching her skin, so she's not kind of allowing it to snap back. And we always tell people who are prone to this, Definitely use an exfoliant, like an alpha hydroxy or beta hydroxy. This would also be waxing. What about laser hair could, removal for someone like this? This would this? prevent this from happening because you're destroying off that the follicle. follicle. Oh, exactly. But then right. you wouldn't yeah. get her followers. Well, That's she true. wouldn't have 115,000 people following her. Whether it's pimples being popped or ingrown hairs being plucked, social media is full of cringeworthy videos we can't help but watch. But now there's another viral video trend that may be the grossest of them all. I like this, do you? Yeah. No! Why would you, why would you like that? Ingrown toenail videos! Oh! Yeah, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is no bueno. Don't do that at home, y'all. No, I mean, this person has skills, though. They do. They, they are doing this. They've read it in the medical textbook. Have, have either of you had any ingrown toenails? Nope. I mean, so, so, but minor. I mean, something yeah. that I could fix myself. Not like this, though. This is no, this. I mean, and that's why I'm remarking on this because I, you know, Drew, you've seen this, but these can get so bad that in the ER you have to remove a portion of their toenail because if you don't, these infections get worse and worse. And one of the things people don't understand about ingrown toenails is that that leading edge. If, if you cut your toenails either too close or that leading edge right as it, it sits up against the side of the nail bed, if it starts digging in to your skin there, that's how these happen. And, and oftentimes people get real aggressive cutting their toenails and then as it grows out, it grows into the skin fold there and it just keeps growing and growing, it becomes infected and, and the only, that's why at, at that point in time, the only resolution is to potentially remove that offending part of the nail. Exactly, we trim your nails, we talked about it, you wanna do it square, you square it off, and you're not supposed to see blood when you're trimming your nails, whether it be your, your, your fingernails or your toenails. The good news is most ingrown toenails, if you soak three to four times a day in warm water and you wear, try to avoid those shoes that are super cramped, you know, Tight elevate, you're, you're elevate trying to allow, allow that area to heal appropriately. But if you're noticing a lot of pus, bright red, swelling, certainly fevers, the, these infections can get really, Bad, really nasty. Spread up the extremity. You don't want to get that.